Hi, if you're new here, my name's Erin. I vlog while I run. I vlun. Before we get started on today's three mile run, uh, let's do an unboxing. Uh, as most of you guys know, I am in dire need of shoes. Un momento. That's what I've been running in. These were Brooks Launch 4. It's been a while since I got new shoes. I'm a cheap person. So I was in the market for new Brooks running shoes and what did I find? Dun, da, da, da. Brooks Ravina Ravenna Ravenna 10. I haven't even looked at these yet. Show the camera first, why not? Oh, hey. What a beauty. What a beaut. Not too keen on the colors, but price was my priority. Not necessarily fashion. Although it is pretty nice. Look, I actually have tread on my shoes now. This is kind of like a mesh-ish material. Oh my god, I can't wait to run in these today. They smell like new shoes. So I got these for $79.95. I don't know if that's what they normally cost, but that's what I got them for. And you know what? Pretty darn happy about that. So these were about 80 bucks. That's not bad. And it did say that these specific shoes are Energizer shoe feature cushioning technology that captures our energy and returns it to you for a responsive bouncy feel that matches the season, whatever that means. But it does say this shoe is for, it works great as a long distance racing or training shoe for efficient runners with added support to help non-neutral runners. I'm probably not an efficient runner, but uh, has an energized feel, guide rail support system, lightweight fit, springy cushioning. Let's try them out and let's go for our three mile run in the cold, uh, probably snow. Switch over to GoPro footage. Not too bad. I think it's supposed to get colder and we're supposed to get snow. Let's get this run in before that. This is what they look like on. This material up here is very thin and flexible. I like that. They fit great. I feel fancy. Like I said, we have a three mile run scheduled for today for our marathon training. Let's get to it. Well, it feels a lot colder than 30 something. No, no sun out today to keep us warm. Just our Fruit of the Loom sweatpants, $6 at Walmart. There's some more free promo Fruit of the Loom. But really though, my legs are toasty. So far I'm loving these shoes. I think I tied the one a little too tight. I feel like I have to get used to them a little bit. Get warmed up. But so far they're really comfortable, lightweight. I'm obviously not an expert runner, so I'm not sure how much my opinion holds value. But if anyone else is like me, go to run one of those running stores I can suggest a brand to you. That's what I did. I stuck with Brooks ever since. I might go again and get reevaluated because I think after pregnancy, your feet change and maybe your arches flatten. I forget. But so far, so good. You guys like snow? I don't. But here's some anyway. Although these shoes feel great, they're super comfortable, lightweight. Uh, they're not working a miracle and running for me. Not sure why I thought that would happen. Not sure if the snow is even coming up, but it's really coming down. This is what I signed up for, running outside through the winter. Ooh, why am I struggling so much up this freaking nano hill? <laughs> uh, probably dehydrated. What are you guys struggling with this week? Or what are your successes this week? Let me know. I'm definitely struggling on this run as always, but my success is that I'm still going. Also, I consider more subscribers to be a success for all of us because that means more people are trying to do what I'm doing, try and better themselves at something. Um, hi, yeah, the GoPro died halfway through that. I'm a bad YouTuber. I was disappointed because on the way back, even though it was kind of not great weather and I didn't really feel like running, I did really well. Like I felt good, my legs felt good, I was warmed up, the shoes felt great, I'm super happy with them. I'll keep you posted if that changes, but I don't think it will, I do really like them. I'm also gonna insert the TikTok of the run here. Welcome to another installment of a slightly overweight person who drinks too much beer trying to train for a marathon. We have three miles to struggle through today, but guess what friends? We're going from these shoes, yes that's my finger, to these bad boys. Frick yeah. Oh my god, there's a whole flock of geese over there. If I get attacked by a goose, I'm gonna freaking cry. Oh god. Ah, just freaking stay in your lane, man. I'm not here for trouble. Can someone tell my nose that Rudolph season is over? Oh look, it's snowing. Cool, cool, cool. Love that for us. 
Awesome, thanks. Snow, perfect timing. Freak you. It's a big no thank you for me. I was hoping these shoes would be miracle workers, but I'm still struggling fully 100% on the struggle bus. Here I am, seated here. Sometimes when I yell help to the universe, it kind of helps. Help! Sometimes. Almost a mile and a half in, still alive. Where am I? Entering the tree tunnel, as I call it on my channel. Turning around is my favorite part. Yes! Love getting pelted in the face by snow. Oh, I'm out of time already. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Make sure to like this video because it really supports my ego. Your comments are my accountability and subscribe to struggle along with me and this marathon training and life because let's be honest, life is one big struggle so let's do it together. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time.